hello guys this is Asif and in this YouTube video tutorial we are going to see the new feature of Oracle 10G which is uh, related with Armin recovery manager and the feature is block change tracking so what Armin does is that during the full backup and incremental backup it will record all the information about the changed blocks into block change tracking log file so once uh, you have performed the uh, full backup Al Armin will start to record all the modified blocks into the change tracking file and when you will perform the incremental backup Armin will read change tracking file and will copy only those uh, blocks which have changed into the database so this uh, whole procedure improves the performance of Armin uh, to a greater extent so for example if incremental backup without blockchain tracking used to take uh, 30 minutes after using blockchain tracking feature it will take only five to six minutes which is a significant improve uh, improvement as far as backup procedure is concerned so let's uh, get started and see how we can configure it how we can enable it how we can change uh, how when uh, how we can uh, view the information about blockchain tracking so i have got one database i will set my oracle is sid set oracle sid is equal to db sql plus asys dba select file name or you can see yeah select file name status bytes bytes from v dollar block change tracking so this view will show you the information whether we are using blockchain tracking or not so in this environment we are not using any blockchain tracking file so now I'm going to create it I'm going to uh, remember this thing that this feature need to be enabled through SQL not through Armin so I'm going to enable it now alter database or alter database enable block change tracking using file now I'm going to specify the file name where the change blocks information will be stored the or data pp block change tracking zero one block size doesn't need to be specified now I will execute the same statement so now you can see that a file has been created and blockchain tracking feature has been enabled now if you want uh, if I want to disable it I will just issue the command alter database disable block change tracking so this is how you can enable blockchain tracking this is how you can view the information about blockchain tracking and this is how you can disable blockchain tracking so the whole purpose of blockchain tracking is to improve the performance of incremental backups or incremental cumulative backups this will not improve the performance of full backup this will not improve the performance of restoration or recovery this will improve the performance of incremental backups of our uh, of database if you are using our main if you are using recovery manager this will significantly improve the performance of our main that's all for uh, this video and we are going to continue from the next video thank you very much